Welcome back once again, my people. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's good to have you here on this lovely Friday evening. You know, many of you would be going home at this moment in time. And, you know, I hope everyone would have had a good and fantastic as well as a productive week. So let's talk some football today. But this is the official Reggae Press show, the Reggae Boys Weekly, where we give you everything surrounding the Reggae Boys updates and more. Decanio. What's up, man? Mr. Arsenal himself. I see you repping your Arsenal jersey um, after that massive defeat in Europe to Bayern, Munich, Munchen, anything they want to call Bayern. How are you feeling after that defeat? Um, Like we talked about in the previous live, bro, just looking forward. Right out of the season already. So, yeah, bro, just moving forward. Jamaica, Definitely. we are talking about today. Jamaica, bro. We don't ask that yeah. talk about today. Aye, aye, aye. Jamaica, Jamaica. So listen now, listen, now, let me take the first comment before we get into it. Sherman Scott, big up yourself, big up 433. Four, three. Yeah, man, don't know, formation-wise. Um, Sherman, is just joined, so those are massive favor. People, for those of you who have just joined, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video. And last but least, let me just remind you guys, the most important thing to do so that the channel can grow is to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, my people. Yes, lovely Friday. So... Let's get into the first topic of discussion, right? And it is surrounding the Jamaica Football Federation, right? And it is the new partnership deal with 876 Stream as the JFF has recently signed a marketing partnership deal with 876 Stream to market the product of the Jamaica Football Federation, which would be the reggae boys as well as the reggae girls, right, Dekanyo? Yeah. Now, let me just... um bring it up on screen surrounding the partnership that um is between the jff and 876 stream and listen you know i know that as reggae boys fans and as jamaicans we tend to bash the jff a lot because they have a bad reputation however if anything is being said is that after ricketts was selected for a new term again we wanted to see where the jff would take football into the right direction and many fans would have said that they want the jff to market the product a bit better now Pertaining to the deal, 876 Stream posted it on their Instagram page and it goes on to read, we're pleased to announce the 876 Stream Limited, we are pleased to announce that 876 Stream Limited has signed with the Jamaica Football Federation as their official marketing partners. Our chairman, um, Conrad Mattison, shook hands with JFF President Michael Ricketts and General Secretary Dennis Strong to signify the beginning of the partnership now they can you let me get your opinion and your thoughts also people in the comment section um comment your thoughts in the comment section surrounding this deal but starting off with the canyon what do you think about um this deal that the jff has signed with 876 stream in terms of marketing the jamaican um football product in terms of the reggae boys and the reggae girls bro it's a big move um and i think one thing that the jff has done uh is listen to the fans because I'm a fan and I'm always in JFF's comment section. Why is the quality so poor? Why is um why aren't things being done better? The quality and it, it's it's just I I'm seeing them post like um the squad list and sometimes the fans is uh, it, it it just doesn't look it looks as if it, an amateur is doing it. So this new move to really get 876 stream in was called for by the fans. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, me and a whole lot of my friends as well, we're, we're always saying, hey, why not get streaming? Get streaming to come and, and deal with the thing the right way because 876 Stream produces quality, quality content. So it, it's, it's been a long time coming. It's a very good thing to see. And just the last thing as well, just look at the other day as well with um, them wishing Michael Ricketts happy birthday. Look at the Instagram post. The quality no. of the photo. The quality of that photo, bro, like, what the hell? Yeah, it, it was a disgrace to see, you know, wishing the president of the Football Federation um, a happy birthday with the quality of picture. But it's not so much the quality of picture that is bothering the, the, the Jamaican fans or the reggae boys fans, right? It's more of the marketing surrounding the team, getting fans back into the national stadium that we call the office. You know what I'm saying? And um, since the 1998 World Cup and after, during that campaign to, to France, you know, I wasn't around that time. You weren't around that time. But based on history and what i've heard is that you know during that time with the campaign that jamaica had leading up to the france world cup in 1998 the stadium was jam-packed 
other than champs when jamaica has played in the national stadium when can you ever say the national stadium is full so i think the the the, the deal and the partnership with 876 stream it is something good in order to drive back fans into the stadium it's also driving more revenue into the jff and listen being on this live stream many people would be tuning in and they, they, they might refer to me as a jff bootlick or, or stuff like that and it's it's not so much the case it's been fair to the jff we have stated that we wanted to see the jff heading head to the right direction in terms of the product and the market marketability of the product and listen we have brand jamaica on our side in terms of once you slap brand jamaica on anything it will sell it's not going to sell itself like that because you have to market it and um here's 876 stream signing a deal with um the jamaica football federation in order to market the product of the reggae boys and the reggae girls you know what i'm saying and as i said the more you drive revenue into the jamaica football then the more we can invest on the grassroots level in terms of developing players etc etc going forward so uh, with everything being said i do think it's a good deal for the jff and for 876 and before i move on right there's this misconception or some misinformation being spread around um social media and the youtube space surrounding this deal and yesterday in the press conference mr dennis strong would have went on to state that the, the they had signed a they had a um sponsorship with uh proving the company i think it's a coffee company right and he stated that the deal was for somewhere around two hundred thousand jamaican dollars or a bit more and i saw where persons were going around thinking that 876 stream signed a marketing deal with the jff for two hundred thousand jmd and my question to you the viewers and the canyon which marketing company in their right man would sign a deal for two hundred thousand jamaican dollars let's be honest people it's not everything you read in the media you, you must believe you know what i'm saying bro people are out there crazy look at our comment sections when we post videos about reggae boys you, you just have to realize that people are crazy and people just take anything and run with it without doing research or without digging a bit deeper so <laughs> bro that's just that that's just what jamaica is bro like to be very honest like what you said is completely true who the hell is signing a marketing deal for 200k jmd bro what can that do you see me so that's how people are you know, especially in jamaica they're just gonna take whatever and run with it to be honest and and you know I, I definitely think as jamaicans we're a bit of um an emotional set of people and it's nothing against jamaicans but sometimes we have to be fair in terms of how we read and comprehend things you know um somebody said on on and big up to ryan lfc as well i was on his program yesterday and you know they were bashing me because i was saying the deal was not 200 000 jamaican dollars and um i think i am sure sports um left a comment as well let me just pull up back that comment because it's really important you know big up yourself um Manning's man, I was on his program today, and Mr. Rudolph Speed was on the program, right? And I think um Cranky, I, I'm not too sure if you're familiar with Cranky, but he asked Mr. Speed what was the how much the deal is worth, and he didn't disclose the fee. So if Mr. Speed didn't disclose the fee, and if Mr. Chung didn't disclose the fee yesterday at the press conference, why is it that media companies in Jamaica are going around slapping a price tag of two hundred thousand Jamaican dollars on the deal for eight seventy six stream? And it's a way to drive clicks to websites in order to you know generate you know when you generate clicks you get money whatever the case is for these um different um media houses and you know someone even went as far as to say why all of a sudden when um why all of a sudden when um jamaica observe and nationwide print stuff wh whenever print media print stuff why we don't believe it bro up until recent in the local government election it was the same nationwide who put out misinformation and had to come out back and say that we're sorry for doing that jamaica observe and jamaica Gleena, they have a bad reputation at times for putting out information that is not true you know what i'm saying so it's not everything we read we should believe sometimes we have to you know go about doing adequate research in order to come to a conclusive answer and to be fair to the jff but once again people 876 stream and the jff they have um signed a partnership deal for marketing of um the football in regards to jamaica now let's move on right and big up to this person who left a super chat on your channel the canyon kind of dylan gill big up yourself best jamaican football best jamaican footballer of all time uh well dylan to tell the truth i i cannot answer that um you know i wasn't around for for large parts of um history when jamaica was actually good and we went to the world cup um i've heard that um walter boyd was a player that i heard that he was an outstanding player back in his days and you know we have leon bailey up until recently although he doesn't perform for the country and i'm someone who refers to leon bailey as um the reggae boys flop because he doesn't really 
perform for the country. However, I think Jamaica over the years, we've had um, brilliant footballers. If I was supposed to choose, though, I would say I have to choose somebody that I have watched. Um, I think I have to go with Leon Billy. Despite him not performing for the country, he has been exceptional at the club level. And I, I don't see anyone who I could say is better than Leon Billy in that regard. In, in, in my lifetime, you know, I'm a very young man. I'm a very young person. So I have to speak on what I've seen. But, you know, um, Walter Boyd, um, Tapa Whitmore, some of these guys, I've heard that they, they have been, they were brilliant back in the, in their days. Let's take this coming from I Am Sure Sports. Yeah, it, it's it's it. Great take coming from I Am Sure. My take on the greatest play, I have to disagree um, with the Leon Bailey one because even though they weren't born in Jamaica and they, they, they didn't grow up in Jamaica, Damari Gray is still there, bro. So <laughs> I'd have to go with Damari Gray, to be honest. Um, he's came in and he has the same amount of goal contributions or even more than Leon Bailey so far. Don't quote me on that. Mm -hmm. And his club career so far is greater than that which um, Bailey has Leon achieved. Bailey. So right now, I have to go with Damari Gray. I, I mean, fair enough, fair enough. Um, Damari Gray is a good show. People, once again, if you like the live stream, please to hit the like button, subscribe, and be sure to leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Now, I am sure Sports said Speed did say 876 Stream will spend up to 2 million USD on this marketing deal. And see, this is where we have to be fair. Nationwide and, and Jamaica Observer printed something different, stating that the deal was worth 200,000 Jamaican dollars. And I am not the best mathematician or whatever the case is, but I'm sure that 200,000 Jamaican dollars does not equate to this lump sum of 2 million USD. So as a marketing company, I, I, I did not expect that 876 Stream would have signed a deal for 200,000 Jamaican dollars to market the product for JFF. So, you know, once again, to be fair to the JFF and to be fair to Mr. Speed, he did disclose that it's 2 million USD, which I believe Knowing the amount of money that is, that can be something in, invested correctly on the marketing side that can drive the football going forward for um, Jamaica land we love. But people, let's move on and I, I will take some more comments soon. Let me take the last comment before we move on to the next topic because we're going to talk about Leon Chippy Bailey, right? Um, Leon Bailey is the first Jamaican who um, will make it to the semi-final of the European Conference League. So we have to talk about that as well. Um, man, Bibi Gardner. Well, Bibi Gardner was a, a, a is a good shot as well. He left from Harborview, I believe it was, and he went straight to England. Um, woman, Bunny Shaw. People, for those of you who are watching, I want to get your take on this. Is Bunny Shaw Jamaica's greatest football player ever? So leave that in the comment section. But let's move on to Leon Bailey, right? The Kanye, yeah. And Leon Bailey has made history in regards to being the first Jamaican player to make it to the European Conference League semi final. Um, he came on against Lille. Um, he played a, a, a game. It was um, he missed his penalty. However, that's not the talk of the town. You know, he he, he has made it through to the semi-final of the Europa Conference League. So we have to commend um, Mr. Leon Chippy Bailey on that. In terms of Leon Bailey and his club career so far, how are you viewing him this season? Um, just before I go into that point, I don't think he was the first. Um, because Mikel Antonio won it last year. So, oh, I'm my bad, my bad, my bad. I think the differentiating factor is, and, and I don't want to get into this because um, Mikel Antonio is Jamaican. I think how how Jamaicans are looking at it from Jamaica that, that were born there is that he's the first maybe local player who was born in Jamaica would have made it compared to Mikel Antonio would have been born in England but still a Jamaican, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But go on. Yeah, so um, his season so far, bro, he's having a stellar one. No one expected Aston Villa to be where they, they, they are right now, sitting in fourth. Um, nine goals, eight assists. He did miss a penalty yesterday, which could have been a huge dent on what Aston Villa was trying to achieve. But um, Emmy Martinez came. Um, he saved the day for Aston Villa and for Leon Bailey. And yeah, there's no one's looking at that this missed penalty anymore. Um, so yeah, that, I don't think that will affect Leon in any way. The team is still in the competition. And they're still chasing a, a a European trophy. So, yeah, bro, very good season for him. I want to see him back in the national team. Um, and just going back as well to that press conference that AFF had with Michael Ricketts. Michael Ricketts said this twice. He said it once and then to end it off, he said this twice. We will not look at the past. The big picture is ahead of us. Forget what is in the past. And saying it once... That had in my mind like he's saying, all right, we're going to get him back daily. But saying it twice, it, it felt as if he was placing emphasis on we're just moving forward. We're forgetting about everything that happened before and we're going to put our best forward 
to make sure that Jamaica is um, competing on all fronts. So that's what I got from that quote. Um, let us know in the comments section what you guys thought about that quote from um, Michael Ricketts. Yeah, um, yeah, Michael Antonio was the first Jamaican to to, to win the um conference league, so I stand um corrected on that one. Now, in regards to Leon Billy, right? There's a great divide, and and people, you know, if you're watching once again, like the video if you like it, and um, you know, subscribe as well and share the video with your friends and family, even your dog as well. But listen, in, in regards to Leon Bailey, right? And people in the comment section, just tell me this: do you want Leon Bailey back into the national team? Because there's a great divide in terms of Leon Bailey and what he did when he released the in well not when he released because he didn't release it right some folks would have said he had control over the interview in terms of when he was supposed to be released now that's neither here or there he re the, the interview was released right now did the kind let me ask you this did he disrespect you did leon Bailey disrespect you did he feel disrespected by his comments i couldn't care less bro i know i'm in the media now and people might say oh you need to come off us a bit more but bro i don't care I didn't bat an eye. Yeah. <laughs> I did not. I did not bat an eye, bro. My main, I said it on my channel. My main thing with all of this is for Jamaica to have our best players on the pitch in those qualifiers and in the Copa America. That's what I care about. I mm -hmm. don't have the details as to what really happened. I'm hearing yeah. two sides of the story, so it's not my job to pick a side. And frankly with all of the, 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 the lies that have been told in the past and all of the misconception and the, the deceptiveness that has been going on in the past, I don't care what any side has to say. I just want, mm -hmm. at the end of it, the, the, the best thing that um, can happen for Jamaica happens, and that is Leon Bailey in the team. So, yeah, yeah bro, um, only possible people see will post a lot of videos about Bailey. Some of them love it, some of them don't love it. But at the end of the day, I'm just here to post what is out there and yeah bro that's that's basically it now in regards to leon billy i've always bashed him in terms of the interview not that i felt disrespected but i didn't feel the interview was right to do especially the the, the, the timing of the interview right before the game against the united states and i don't think it affected us because we played quite well against usa just unlucky that Corey Burke scored that um own goal but I've also been a big, big advocate for Leon Bailey to get his place back into this national team. And in my recent video, I stated that if Coach Hal Gibson does call Leon Bailey on the telephone and says, hey, Mr. Leon Bailey, can you come and play for us in the Copa America, right? I believe Leon Bailey, he will play for us. I know that he has a party, but a party can always be postponed. You know what I'm saying? He can always reschedule the party. He has the summer coming up where he can, he'll have extended period of a, of a break for a while, like, seven weeks i believe it is and you know i've seen where drake he has hosted parties before and he doesn't go to the party he just has his name on it so you know bailey is a party man to be honest but i believe if coach Al Grimson does call you and be he he would have come and represent the nation at the Copa america because you know we have to be realistic growing up leon bill would have wanted to play for jamaica at the highest level in terms of the competitions in terms of the world cup in terms of the Copa america the nation's league i just believe it's just an issue between him and the jff and michael ricketts even went as far as to say listen the decision will come down to mr coach hargrims and i think hargrims is a fair man in terms of how he will deal with the situation moving forward you know what i'm saying but let me take some comments um from the, the the reggae boys fans and in I regard to this um before he put up that comment mm -hmm. Grimson knows that leon bailey draws a huge portion of the fan base and yeah. we need the fans full support so leaving leon bailey oh that's just gonna cause a whole lot more um just a whole lot more disruptions that he would not want right so bro bringing bailey back makes all the sense if you think that bailey shouldn't be back I don't know what to tell you. It just makes sense. Just put everything behind us and focus on the football, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah bro. I mean, th there's still a great divide and, um, you know, people have their own opinions and we have to respect that. Some Jamaicans felt like they were disrespected by his comments. Some felt like he was right in terms of the comments that he made in terms of hearing out what the problems are inside of the JFF. And, you know, that's the long and short of it. But let me take some comments, right? Carl Ruffy, big up the supporter. Sherman Scott, the president doesn't have a problem adjust the public 344. Well, I guess that's a different formation, but yeah. Um, Ian, Ian, let me see what Ian is saying in regards to Bailey. Guys, 
how do you pronounce his last name? Jai. I hope I pronounce it right. It sounds Indianish. Jai. Um, guys, we need we, we need Leon Bailey in the Reggae Boy squad because he is a very important player. You other you other players don't be badman on Leon Bailey. Um, I don't really quite get that last part. Maybe it's a typo, but guys, we need Leon Bailey in the Reggae Boy squad because he's a very important player. And I agree, the more quality we have, the more it is better for the team because against the United States, you saw where we were depleted in terms of suspension and injuries, and we didn't have a Leon Bailey on the bench due to the suspension. We didn't have a Shamar Nicholson due to suspension. Demar agree, suspension. And the last minute, we tried to get a Bailey Kadamachar, Kadamateri, and he rejected the call up, right? So I think moving forward, we we'll definitely have to get back um, Leon Bailey into this team. I remember the, the, the World Cup is just up the road in 2026 in America. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that these three countries in Mexico, United States, and Canada have qualified, this is the best chance of us qualifying for that World Cup. And surely we want Leon Bailey on the plane for that as well. And even the Copa America, I would want Leon Bailey back in the squad for the Copa America. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me take some more comments. Six squads, six spots. Jamaica mm -hmm. can't make that mistake with Jamaica football, brother. Sherman Scott said he's wrong. Um, let me see what Warren Webster is saying. Big up yourself, people that's just joining. Please to hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you're new. The president just said he want to look through the windscreen, not the rear view mirror. Free up Leon and Bunny, our two best local brand players. And I agree. And, you know, even I think the reggae girl situation is even worse than the Leon Miller situation in the sense that the whole team was suspended. You know what I'm saying? The whole team was suspended for for and listening to different programs, you know that the the JFF I believe only owed. I think that I think they paid the girls the money, you know, right? I think they actually overpaid the money, you know, isn't me? And I, I don't know if it's Mister Speed in charge or somebody else or Mister Chung, the general secretary, but I think they overpaid and overpaid or underpaid, something like that. But it wasn't by much, and the fact that it took so long for the JFF to rectify the problem with the girls, it's a detriment to the football because even when the girls were suspended, we had to gather some group of girls who were very young and send them out and they got some, they got slapped by some teams or 8 nil or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I think the JFF has to do better in terms of how they mend their issues with the reggae boys and the reggae girls. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's all about communication. We as fans know that the JFF don't have the money. The, the, the players have stated that they know why would the Mario Graham Michael Antonio come and play for Jamaica? They know that the Federation doesn't have the money, but it's how you communicate to people. If I owe you something, I should be able to communicate to you and say, Dick and your viewers, you know, Menavi, Menavi for this Tuesday, no. But just give me a text Friday. Me, me not gonna give you everything, but me I'll give you at least five hundred dollars or thirty thousand dollars. You know what I mean? In every so, in any phase or anywhere you walk in life, anything yeah. that has to do with business exchange. Mm -hmm. Anything at all, communication is key. It's more definitely it's, it's the principle, bro. It's the principle. Anyone can owe. Yeah. Anything can happen for anyone to, to, to be down in a moment. But you see, communication, bro, that is of utmost importance whenever you're doing business. You see, mm -hmm. you don't have that, that can make people flip, right? Yeah. So, yeah, bro. And before I move on, I need to blow through these comments in regards to the reggae girls as well. I'm not saying you should owe the reggae boys, you know. It's one thing owing the reggae boys. They have the... If you check the weekly wages for the boys, right? They earn more money than the reggae girls. And a lot of these girls are in college. So, it's not like they have money at their disposal like a Leon Bailey, like a Michael Antonio, like a Demar Gray, like a Damian Lowe that have good wages every week. You know what I'm saying? In terms of women and women's sport, we know that it's, it's not heavily invested in. Now, in modern day football and modern day women's sport, we see that there's a heavy investment. So we have to take care of the regular girls a bit more. You know, we have to take care of women a bit more as well. We have to be a bit more. Well, I don't think leaning is I don't think leaning is the right word, but um, you know, we have to take care of the women. Um, let me just blow through this. Black River, you're talking crap. You have no standard. Well, Black River, I respect I think the you're referring to me still when I said I don't care. Oh, uh, um, okay, okay. Um, up gunners, yeah, big up yourself, John Powell, Tyree Gibson. Um, big up yourself, one gunners. Um, Kevin Face, what is Kevin Face saying? I think Leon needs to make it right and move forward. I'm um, definitely, I think Leon will be back into the national team. Warren Webster, once again, did I check this comment before? No, um, you can't overpay the women, they were owed much more than the 
first from the World Cup, two back-to-back -back World Cup. Well, that is true. And, you know, it, it's so much detail surrounding when the girls were owed their money and whatever the case is. And, you know, I don't, I don't think JFF did a good job in terms of rectifying the issue. I think, no, it is rectified, but I think they could have rectified it from a bit earlier. You know what I'm saying? I know at one point they were using a mediator between um, the girls and themselves. But, um, you know, moving forward with Michael Ricketts in office and his new... Um, slate of, of men in, in this leadership role. You know, hopefully we don't have these problems going forward. We have the Nations League coming up, we have the Copa America coming up, we have the um we have World Cup qualifiers, then the Copa America, then the Nations League back in um September, I believe it, it is. And then we have 2026 where we can potentially qualify for that World Cup. So we can't really destroy the football before 2026 World Cup reach because you know I really own the people by 2026 and have no type of Issue where man a complain say him not have enough leg room pump plane and re re re. Cause next thing a man I say yo me not take no plane if the leg room no good enough for me. You see me? Yeah, but yeah. let me take the last comment before we, um move on. Um DJ architect pick up yourself. So Bunny Shaw need to apologize to JFF before she can play back for Jamaica. Well, I don't know. You know, I've heard talks about that, but I'm not too sure. Listen, me personally, sometimes. The best way somebody can apologize, I've always said this about Leon Bill. The best way Leon Bill can apologize to the, the Jamaicans who felt disrespected is going out there on the pitch and playing good. Exactly. Putting words on paper is not going to suffer for what he did. Exactly. So, it's mm. done, done. Everybody see it. He was emotional in the moment. I don't yeah. like this idea of coming back to apologize, bro. What is yeah. that? Even if he does apologize out of his mouth, it won't mean it. If I did what he did, with the way how I felt, coming out to apologize just before you guys, but I wouldn't mean it. The only way he yeah. can mean it or show that he truly is sorry is by coming out and playing on the pitch and doing what he has not done mm. as yet for Jamaica, which mm. is perform like how he is performing at Aston Villa. And he has admitted that he doesn't perform for the country as well. Yeah, I don't want any apologies, bro. I don't want any yeah. apologies from Bonnie. I don't want any apologies from um from Bailey. Bunny, Bunny yeah. always performs for Jamaica, right? And yeah. I'm not taking the side of her or the JFF. But what I am saying is, I want to see players play. And this is not club football. Club football, you want to deal with it. You want to deal with country football different from club football, bro. Mm -hmm. You see me? Club football, you have all heap of players. You have so many. If one player slip up, or if one player has a discipline problem, or if one mm -hmm. player this or one player that, you can draw from any more. You see me? But country That's football, true. these competitions don't come around a lot. You see me? So you need to get things rectified. You need to smooth out. If you need to be the bigger man, be the bigger man here. You see me, bro? But get the best players on the field to play football, bro. And let me just say big up to Jason Guna and um, Jason Guna TV. People, head over there and subscribe. Once again, if you just joined the stream, like the video subscribe if you're new and share your thoughts in the comment section use up your fingers on the friday make a whole vibe right now let me take some more comments before i move on because we're going to talk about michael antonio next because he is linked with a move away from west ham and if you know anything about west ham they have always been buying strikers over the recent years and you know skamaka um sebastian Haller, and they didn't really pan out at um this um west ham team um bunny go over the limit i mean i respect your opinion um, big up yourself, RR. They can have their lawyer. <laughs> the man said they can have their lawyer apologize on behalf of them. Well, that is true, but I don't think they need a lawyer involved, you know, you know, you know that's serious. Um, DJ Architect, Architect, um, sponsors want Bailey and Bonnie Shaw to play for Jamaica, and you know, that, that's true because Bonnie Shaw recently became the all time leading goal scorer from the, the, the Man City women's team, so she has a big reputation and a big name on her back. In terms of that recent accomplishment. Once again, people, is Bonnie Shaw the greatest Jamaican football player ever? Let's not bring in gender in it. Let's talk about accomplishments, etc. Um, can answer that in the comment section. But yes, yeah, sponsors would want Bonnie Shaw and Leon Bill because Leon Bill is a big name player, no man. He's a big name player, of course. Um, JFF apologized. Well, he apologized he to his club. club. To be honest, I don't think Leon Bill said anything wrong in the interview, but Sky Sports did spin it. In a different direction, you know what I'm saying, and I think yeah. you did that video correcting what Sky Sports had done. You know, he he did, he just oh, that video. It's called yeah. Leon Bailey. Um, Sky Sports exposed the truth behind Leon Bailey's interview. So you guys want gunners and check out that video. Yeah, I mean, he did apologize to his club, but I think knowing how the English fans are, even if you not go so, even if you not go so, you want to make sure say 
you apologize and fix things because English fans can be a bit different in terms of how they judge people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Um, what did DJ Art Architect say? Uh, do, 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 do. fans go to the stadium to see Bonnie Shaw and Leon Bailey. True, but you know, I kind of wonder if Leon Bailey really defied the people to, to the point where they never rate him or no one see him at the stadium again. <laughs> um, let me take a comment from Ian. I'm going to go through these comments first because I'm, I'm grateful for the support of people, so I have to respect you know, um, comments. We can't be like crabbing a bile, pulling down each other, and Leon Bailey never disrespect anyone in the Jamaican football team. Leave the young man and let him strive, lad. I mean, true, true. But there's this thing about Jamaicans that I don't like. When them say how oh, people bad man Leon Bailey, I don't think nobody bad man Leon exactly. Bailey. It's just, it's just people have their difference in opinions. I don't think anybody's pulling down Leon Bailey or whatever. Um, Warren Webster, Bunny did not say Jamaica can't do nothing for her. She stand up for all the girls. It's a personal thing between Bunny and certain top lady. I don't remember the name of that lady. Oh, I, I don't remember the name, but I know the story when I think... I think it was Bunny Chow who said, yo, she can't travel on the bus or something. I don't put out no misinformation, people, so correct me if I'm right. I think yeah, she did say, Elaine Walker? Elaine Walker Brown? I think so. Which, I can't see Della Mali, you not know, No, man. No, no, man. She never got a problem with that. I think it was um, Elaine Walker Brown. Because I think in Canada, it was in Canada. I don't remember. I don't want to put out misinformation because you see, people can correct me. If well, I like, guys. You guys can correct us, if anything. We don't have the information on hand. She is the biggest female player ever out of Jamaica. Also, would Bunny Shaw be considered the biggest Jamaican, um, the biggest football player out of the Caribbean in regards to women as well? Because I don't know the history of um the women's game to that extent. Did Trinidad or anyone produce anyone of some sort? Yeah, Bunny Shaw based on domination of two top ten women's league, and she has been selected for some individual awards as well recently. Are are there top twenty in the Ballon d'Or as well? Yeah, they're the face of our football. So discipline, good discipline is a is a light. Sherman That's Scott. True. Yeah, Elaine Walker Brown. Yeah, Miss Brown. I think there was an issue between um Bonnie Shaw and um Elaine Walker Brown and big up to Ryan LFC because he did cover it to a large extent. Now, people, let's move on to the next countryman, Mikel Antonio, West Ham's um all-time leading goal scorer with 60 th something goals. I believe it is now michael antonio once again dominating headlines because he is linked with a move away from the london-based club now last year in the summer michael antonio spoke about his future stating that you know there was a move likely and he wouldn't be bothered with a move you know what i'm saying because david Moyes over the past couple years has been looking for a striker he bought sebastian Haller, he bought skamaka who is at atlanta now knocked out liverpool out of the um europa conference league liverpool fans won't be happy with that but West Ham, they have been in search for a striker. Mikel Antonio is 34 at this moment in time, right? Now, in regards to his future, there's a player being linked with West Ham in, um, I believe it is... Sir Mikel, you remember his name? Yeah. Sir Ugarassi. I'm, I'm so good with the pronunciation, pronunciation of that name, Jurassic, right? Yeah. But now, yeah. he has been linked with West Ham for our to replace Michael Antonio. Um, he has a release class of 17 million euros. So very, very cheap player. I think he's around the age of 28, right? And yeah. um, I think Fabrizio posted something about him recently, how he's been on um, electrifying form. I think he has played 28 games this season, 26 games across the board in all competitions. So, you know, basically this article was stating, and both Dicanio and I did a video on Michael Antonio and his future. So you can check that out as well, people. So the article is basically saying that with um Jurassic having such a low release class, West Ham will be in the race for Sir Hugh Jurassic. You know what I'm saying? Brilliant player for Stuttgart. I think 28 games, 20 something goes across the board in all competitions. Michael Antonio this season has had his injury problems. I think he has played 21 games, only registering four goals and two assists, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. um in all competitions so not his best season last year he was linked with a move away to the mls and i believe to saudi arabia as well now once again heavy links um circulating jurassic to this west ham team and people in the comment section what does this mean for michael antonio what does his future look like for this reggae boys team let's say that michael antonio moves to the mls or to saudi arabia or somewhere else across the the, the, the globe 
how does his future shape up for the reggae boy? Should he be on the plane for the 2026 World Cup? In 2026, Michael Antonio will be around 36, 37. So he will be a bit old. And if you know anything about Jamaican football and the JFF, we're trying to get players such as Bailey Kadamatri, um, Omar Hutchinson. So we're trying to step up, step up our recruitment in that regard. But let me ask you, Dekanyo, what do you think about Michael Antonio and the recent links, linking him away from Amu, linking, linking him away from Wesam? Yeah, so those links are valid, um, to be honest. And he's also, the main reason why is because they are trying to get in someone to basically come in and play as their main striker, right? And Mikel Antonio has said in the past that he will not play second field to anyone. So when Haller came in and when um, Skamaka came in, there were rumors of him leaving, right? Um, and both of them end up, ended up leaving and he was the main man. No, it, he's at an age of what, 34. He's having injury problems. West Ham are trying to go up an edge. And even if he will still get good game time, he might want to leave because if they're going for Girassi, Girassi is a hot striker. He's coming mm -hmm. in. He's going to have to be starting games, right? Um, and for your question that you said, will he or will he like make the squad in 2026 only time will tell if he's still playing to the ability that we know that he's playing no one he can still play then that's the only reason why antonia came to jamaica to qualify for the world cup right and to play in the world cup that's the only reason why he came that's the only reason why damari gray came that's the only reason why most of these english based players came to play in a world cup so he's going to be pushing even if he's not on the toppest of the top farms He's going to be pushing because that's the ultimate reason why he came to represent the country. And I believe the last World Cup was um, it was a 26-man squad. So mm -hmm. yeah, bro, there 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 will be room. Uh, ho hopefully, <laughs> hopefully uh, we have room time. for the Copa America, right? Yeah, definitely for the Copa America. The Copa America is right around the corner. He's still a Premier League striker. He's still playing mm -hmm. in one in the best league in the world in a top half, um, in a for a team in the top half of that table. So definitely, he's going to be starting for Jamaica. He's going to be playing in this Copa America, but for the World Cup, it's it's it's, it's a bit stingy. I think he will make the squad, but mm -hmm. um, it, it it just depends on how he's playing at that time and how quickly the young ones bloom. Right? If Whisper is firing, if if Kyle Dixon is firing, if those young lads that we have coming in are firing and it's going to be very hard for Mikel Antonio even to make a 26-man squad. But again, in our World Cup, you need experience. And mm -hmm. even if he doesn't make the squad, he'll definitely want to be around the team. And I think he will definitely be around the team just for that experience factor. I mean, yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying in that regard. Um, let me just take some more comments. Bala, big up yourself. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, I, I, I refer Morris. Is, is saying it, saying him? I refer Morris. Okay. Timing is everything. He has chosen the wrong time to do what he did. I think he's talking about, um, what Leon Bailey did. Um, respect for your comment. Um, let me see. Loud mode football. Big up yourself. Leon Bailey, Anthony. I definitely agree. I would take, and I would take Leon Bailey over Anthony any day. And I'm a United fan. So you don't know that guy with the people. Is me? Right now, we could I get a refund for Anthony. Um, RR. Who get the development start? Dixon or Whisper? Wow, wow, wow. Yo, RR. We can answer that. What do you think? The schoolboy footballer versus the schoolboy footballer versus the man at Chelsea because that's what Craig Butler referred to Kaim Dixon, which he isn't. Kaim Dixon was a JPL player when he got selected for the national team. And mm -hmm. if Kaim Dixon moves to Europe in this upcoming um, summer transfer window, then you no longer can refer to him as a schoolboy footballer, JPL player, be a top level professional player because JPL, with all due respects, it's a semi professional league. In any setup, Kaim Dixon goes to in Europe will be regarded as professional. But answer that Dekanyo, who you think? I don't who um, development is, slot. That's not a question, bro. Yeah, development um slot in the team has to go to Whisper. Whisper is younger. Whisper is at a, is playing at a higher level. He has been playing at a higher level all his life. Um yeah bro all 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 points point to, to, to Whisper over um Dixon. Dixon not good I mean, ball yeah, no I question. Mean, this, um, Whisper, is just, Whisper is just one year younger than Dixon. You know what I'm saying? He's just, Whisper is what, 18? And um, Whisper Dixon is 19. Uh, yeah. 19. 
no. So it's not bad. I don't people listen. I don't think it should come down to a developmental slot. It comes down to who best suits the team. So if by the time there's a selection process once again, if Dixon fit the team over Whisper, if Dixon is on better form and the coach want Dixon, then him select Dixon. If he want Whisper and he wants select Whisper, he select Whisper. If Whisper doesn't get selected or next player, it shouldn't be that oh the coach bad mind Whisper or the coach no rate Phoenix baller. Wait, wait, wait. No, we can't look at things that way. We have to look at what the coach wants for the team. You see me? I say, at the time he wants Dixon in the team, Dixon get him chance. Maybe the next time, Whisper play today, his team got slapped. Maybe next time, hard him to say, all right, me draw for Whisper. I mean, we'll draw for Whisper and Dixon as well. My point for me, the one thing I disagree with where all Grimson do that. And again, I'm going to pick side on this. I'm going to talk my mind. You see me? Come on, bro. That was a Nations League, you know. And I like it's a friendly. It's a chance for win a trophy. That is not the time to be giving people chances. That is the time to have your best available players on the plane and playing. So I don't buy that. Um, the reason why was because he wanted to see Kain Dixon. No, I do not buy that at all because a trophy is on the line. That is not the time to want to see a player. I believe. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, not to interject, I cut you, right? Yeah, go on, go on. Um, yeah. So I don't, I was saying basically. I believe there's something deeper in what happened for the reason why we spouse and called up. Um, and Craig Butler just he, he's a twister, bro. He 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 knows how to twist things to basically get people on his side or to because when his players are in the team, you don't hear a lot of noise. Craig Butler is so quiet, he's so easy, he's so calm. But when his players aren't in the team, it's just a whole lot of twisting and a whole lot of different opinions, and it's it it, it just Something's off, bro. Something is off. Listen, I want to get back to the Mikel Antonio thing, but let me just tell you, let me just give my opinion in, in regards to the, the, the situation surrounding the Whisper and Kaim Dixon, right? To be fair, Kaim Dixon in the JPL before he was selected, he was scoring goals. I believe he had like two goals or something, and maybe one or two assists, right? Now, when his inclusion in the national team, I don't think it was a detriment to the team because we already had suspensions, right? Whisper had went to Chelsea and he was playing with the under 21s. I think at the time when the Nations League was playing, Whisper wasn't playing much. But remember, you know, we played good against the United States of America. You know, we were just unlucky in terms of how we can how the game went on because by the time we used up all of our subs, extra time we never have any more substitutions, right? Yeah, it's well, I don't know what happened just now. But it's unlucky for Corey Burke. It was unlucky on Corey Burke's part to score that own goal in the last nine moments of the game. I remember there was this big thing going around said so that the referee added on maybe one minute or so. So Kaim Dixie inclusion in the team wasn't a detriment to the team or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Whisper got his turn. Kaim Dixon got his turn. Moving forward, let's see who Coach Hargrimson calls up again. But I don't want to make the show into a Whisper versus Kaim Dixon thing. Um, yeah. RR posed the question and we answered. And we had we had plenty to speak about Whisper as well, but it was a bit later down. Um, yeah, let, let me just take the comments. All right, take the comments and then we're heading to Whisper. Yeah. Um, well, I want to finish with the Mikel Antonio. I think we kind of finished, but oh. let me just finish quickly. Premier 7, big up yourself. Just got the chance to tune in. I was a follower of Canada that speaks since. Big up Gunners and 433 Presser. Yeah, big up yourself, um, Premier 7, yeah. um, a fellow United fan. Let me just go through the comments. Cause once again, I respect the support, people. Once again, please to hit the um, like button as it does help the video to get out there. And um, Lord Mouth Football, Antonio bloomed. Did that comment just come off? One second. Let me get about that comment. Antonio bloomed late, like fine wine. Like fine. Yeah, definitely. Oh, age like fine. Wine. Um, all right. This person said that whisper. Get the slot um sherman scott no sorry warren webster whisper for dixon oh whisper are dixon already for my team no i think he's saying both players are not ready i think he means yeah. nor yeah whisper nor dixon is ready for his team okay fair enough respect your comment um let's take the next comment um who's the next comment in line people just give us some time to just, yes, give, just give us some time. Nations League draw okay. May 6th, 2024. Respect for that comment. Um, yeah, RR again with who was more impressive in the setup. 
Uh, we I think we already mentioned that. So big up RR for the comment. I mean, uh, before we move on, big up to MG Sports. MG Sports has been a big advocate for Kaim Dixon, right? There's an accusation going around that when Wispa had played for Jamaica, despite him scoring a goal, if you look at the games, he was a bit lost in those games, right? But it's not a knock on Wispa because he's still developing. Any young player, Agar Nacho, Amadeo, Kobe Menu, when Bukayo Saka was just bursting on the scene, they, these players would have been lost in these games because they're young players coming from the academy. So it's not a knock on Wispa. Um, I think MG on his video of his assessment when he spoke about Kaim Dixon in the United States game, he said that Kaim Dixon did look good. Um, some people disagree, some people agree. Um, this person said, um, Whisper and Billy not welcome to this team because the coach is program or the coach program. Okay, I respect your opinion and your comment. Um, Don you Jamaica, bullshit. Um, EPL under 21 is higher is not higher than JPL. Watch the clips of the game EPL 21. Whisper walk through the EPL under 21 just like Manning Cup. No, listen. You see, once you're a brilliant player, anywhere you go in the world, you're, you're going to dominate. You're going to walk past people. You see me? There's this big conversation going around. Is the JPL better than the under 21 Premier League? I don't know. I never played none of them. Looking at it, you have some really gifted players within the um, under 21 in terms of the PL2, right? Now, the thing with the Jamaican players, when they do leave the Jamaica Premier League and they go to these leagues and different respective leagues, they tend to fail because the coaching education isn't there from Jamaica, especially at the grassroots level. Many players have left from Cavaliers, went on to Belgium, and they came back to Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I really don't know how to assess that one. I've never played in one of those competitions. Uh, it would be nice with an upgrade of the development slot too. Okay, okay. Uh, let me just go through these comments quickly. I'll probably just come back to some. Um, Warren Webster, big up yourself. Quote said he helped these young players in their transfer. We have better talent ready and fine at higher tip. Okay, fair enough. All right, so let's leave it from um, let's pick up. We're going to come back to um, after Warren Webster and take some more comments. So, people just drop your comments in the comment section. Once again, thankful for the support. Like the video. If you like what we're doing over here, also subscribe if you're new and share thoughts in the comment section. Get those fingers working on the Friday, people. So let's end it with Mikel Antonio and move on to something else, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, as I said in the report, he's linked with a move away from West Ham. Um, we have the, the, the World Cup qualifiers coming up, Nations League, um, Copa America as well, World Cup in a couple of years. And, you know, many Jamaican fans say anytime Mikel Antonio is supposed to come and represent the country like West Ham or... Uh, Hold him back, you know. They never make some concoction story if he say him injured, but he's actually injured most of the times when he doesn't come and um represent the country. Now, the next thing is before we move on, people tune in tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, tomorrow, special update or a special live stream in regards to Ellis Sims, who plays for Coventry City, Joel Latibo there, as well as Casey Palmer, as me, Decanio, and I will be talking to a Coventry super fan in regards to El Sims, Joel Latibodier, and Casey Palmer. So check my community tab. I think the stream is 3 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. So definitely tune in for that one as it will be a special stream with a Coventry super fan. Now, that's the, um, in regards to, to El Sims, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing we're going to move on to is, let's talk about the, the um, upcoming game as Joel Latibodier will feature in the game. Um, again, some um, United, I think Ellis Sims will be playing in that as well, as well as Casey Palmer. They will be available for selection. Now, Dikanyo, I'm a United fan. You're an Arsenal fan, right? Now, Casey Palmer, Joe Latibodier, two Jamaican international players facing up against um, United, right? Do you think that they can help this Coventry team to get to the um, FA Cup semi final? That's a tough one, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going up against Manchester United. They won't have home advantage, which is very, very big for these championship teams. Um, championship teams normally use that home advantage um, to, to further in these competitions and to beat the bigger teams, right? But it will be a neutral ground at Wembley. So I'm having second thoughts. I don't think that they will be able to do it. But if they do, it would be very, very, very good. And it would be another huge push in all aspects to have two Jamaican players playing in the FA Cup final so 
Yeah, bro, it would do a world of good for Joel and it would do a world of good for Casey Palmer, for both of them. Um, I, I can just imagine the amount of opportunities, the spotlight, everything that will come with playing in the last game of the English football calendar every season um, for these two Jamaican players. So I really hope that they can beat the big idiot side. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm always going to be cheering on any team playing against Manchester United, but yeah, bro, I, I yeah. doubt it will happen, but I really do hope that they can bug on you know. All right, you know, in regards to that, it's a good platform for Casey Palmer and Joe Latibody. Also, recently, Joe Latibody has been linked with a move away from Coventry to teams such as um, Ajax and Sporting Lisbon in their respective leagues. Um, it seems to me that people hold Joey Latibody in high regards at Coventry. And that is why we're going to talk about Joey Latibody, Ellis Sims, and Casey Palmer tomorrow with a super, with a Coventry super fan who, you know, he knows the ins and outs and the workings of Coventry. And I'm sure some of you guys in the um, comments watch Coventry whenever they play. But we're going to talk about them more in depth um, tomorrow. But, you know, it's a good platform for Joey Latibody. Um, and to be honest, Leon Bale is going to the Europa Conference League semi-final. Joe Latibody and Casey Palmer is in the FA Cup semi-final. So the Jamaican players abroad are going on to do well in terms of getting deep in these um different cup competitions. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, who knows, maybe Leon Bailey can win his first um major honor. Maybe um Latibody can go on to win an FA Cup and, and Casey Palmer as well. And that will do them the world of good in terms of, you know, your professional player. You want to win trophies. So I think it would be a good look if um Letty Body and Casey Palmer can help. Well, well, let me calm down. Not help Coventry over the line because I want United to be Coventry. But with them be United, then fair enough. I can't curse, you know. Who does to them? If they go into the final and they play Chelsea or City, then hopefully they beat um Chelsea or City. But people, drop some more comments in the comment section. Also, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and share your thoughts in the comment section. Should Leon Billy really get back into the national team? Also, share your thoughts surrounding his um club career so far with Aston Villa this season. Mikel Antonio is linked with a move away from West Ham, so leave your thoughts about that. Bujan Richards and... um. Kaim Dixon, who gets that development spot? Um, RR posed that question. All right, so we kind of come to the end of it, right? But in all due respect to the commenters, let's run through all the comments and then end the stream as I feel like this stream has done us well. Mm -hmm. Um, but like Casey and Joel are not good, lol. My opinion, still, I mean, I respect the opinion, but um, Joel Latibody are good enough to get links with Sporting Lisbon and Ajax, you know what I'm saying. So who is wrong in, 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 in that in, in that regard? It seems to me, Bala, you are wrong in that regard. You know what I'm saying? Um, Damian Neymar, the whisper will surely bring crowd. So does Dixon. They are both exciting young guns. And um, definitely, you know, our praises to whisper and Kahim Dixon. Once again, Damian, the whisper will... Sh oh, I think he left his comment two times. Um, Owen, Owen says so going to penalties. Uh, big up Ian. Yeah, Ian said so Manchester United will with, will with them as uh, Lalo. Um... Joel said, um, Damian Neymar, the whisper will surely bring crowd. Ah, once again, maybe type of mistake. Um, Owen Owen, Damian Neymar, interesting. Um, baller, all the best to the team. Also, people, do me a massive favor, make this a special live stream. If one of you guys want to share your opinion, the stream yard link is in the comment section. If you scroll to the top, um, let me just put it back. One of you, do me a massive favor before we end the stream somebody come on the stream and give your opinion surrounding one of the topics that we spoke about whether it's about leon bailey or about whisper or michael and so i posted it in the chat so just go in the chat people join the link one of you guys before we end and have your say in regards to the topic that we covered just now we've hit the hour mark so i'm asking 81 of you guys are viewing so it's lovely just one person one reggae boys fan jump on and let me hear what you have to say surrounding the topics that we spoke about. Whether it's about Leon Bailey, Dujan, Kaim Dixon, um, the 876 stream partnership with the JFF. And um, I have to end the stream by taking all the comments. So hopefully before I end, somebody can join in. Um, Ian, the Jamaican team needs to start using local players more. Yo, I'm not getting at that. I'm not getting at that. You're not going to put me at that. You're not going to put me at that. You're not going to put me at that. Yeah, you're not going to put me at that. I'm going to tune in next week for the one there, bro. <laughs> yeah, that the discussion for that, you see me? Not the platform for that one right now. Um, Big up yourself, Rob Smith. Rob Smith, I'm a general now. I was a home accountable. Um, he was a lot of comments, you know? Jesus. Oh, yeah, bro. Owen Blake. Yo, Owen, Owen. Aye, Owen, Owen. Owen Blake, so our best players must always be in the national team. All right, cool. I'll run through this quickly. 
somebody join the stream and give your thoughts. Joel played very well in the Nations League semi final. Definitely, he played well in that back line, you know. I'm not sure. Why should we have a developmental spot in the senior team? Only the best. All right, fair enough. I, I kind of agree with that to an extent. Warren Webster, when Antonio play, he's like a beast and a handful in our um conference. I think he's referring to the conference league. Um, Lati and Palmer wishing them luck and I will cheer them on. Coaches love Lati's game and as long as Grimmy in charge. And to be fair enough, you know, you know, say when Lati played for Jamaica, we started to play him in the midfield and the man go back a cover and start playing at the midfield, too, you know. Mm. Yeah, man. So and he's coming from playing center or gun right back. So he's a very good utility player. Yeah, and he played the well in mm-hmm. Big up yourself, Mr. United. Um, general, that as well. Jairus, we don't need any <laughs> damn in developmental spot. All right, all right. Fair enough. Respect that. Respect your comment and your opinion. Oh, he in Blake. Dujan Richards for developmental spot. Dixon for games outside of international window. Yeah, hey, someone say, yo, the best play. You see, Mr. Wave is best at that time play. Monster answer. one. Yeah, big up yourself. I see Whisper getting a loan deal next season and he'll do a great job as Hutchinson. You know, fair enough. Whisper, a, a, a loan deal for Whisper would, would do him well as well. People, one of you guys, the link is in the comment section. If you don't join, all right, I respect that. Um, Rob Smith, Wine Webster, come on, bro. Bunny publicly on a world stage. Boycott and cast us World Cup. Cast us sponsor of the highest point based on misinformation. And to be fair enough, I don't want to say I have to bash Bunny Shaw. But there was a narrative running around that is the um what you call the money again? Go fund me money, bring them to Australia. And it wasn't any go fund me money. And the big CNN and these print media people got run with that and talk about how I go go, go fund me money, bring the team go work up. The go fund me money could I never bring the regular guys go go the work up down Australia. 50-50. Ryan took my range. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Yeah. Yo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> next coming, next coming. We never give out a range yet. So for the first official stream of the Reggae Boys Weekly, Mr. United, you will get a range. After the stream, me give you because I don't know how to do it on live stream. So I will give you a range. I never give out a range before, so I will give you one. Anybody else want a range, I will give you. Do the right thing, people. Yeah, do the right thing. Smash the like button. Um, Ian, Chelsea is my team, but these players are all waste of time. Are right, fair enough. Chelsea, the 10th team, Rob Smith, Jairus, but them say, what? Brandon Cover. I think he's talking about Brandon Cover. I think he plays for Leicester. Oh, he's big. Man, a big. <laughs> you never got. <laughs> um, brother, how often you come on live? All right. This is going to be a weekly thing, right? The kind of every Friday? Yeah, bro. Every, hopefully every Friday, but every week for sure. We'll basically yeah. have to run this show for cover all of the weekly issues, uh, moments, goals, assists, anything we have to do with Reggae Boys content at all. Reggae, you can catch us here every week. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so every week, Warren Webster, Cataract, where's Cataract? Big up yourself, Cataract, Mr. United, I agree. So, Mr. United, we get the first range of the Reggae Press, the Reggae Boys Weekly, you see me? Oh, Ian Blake, yo, bro, Father Warren, manners and total respect, long time, Mr. United. I agree, Nitro. Club should develop players. Yeah, and many, many fans um, of the Reggae Boys say that the team shouldn't be used as a developmental spot. And that's why many people have a problem with um, Rudolph Speed being in the, being as the technical director because there was a big accusation going around that he uses the team to put Cavaliers players in to develop them, to sell them on to clubs. Where Mr. Butler would have stated that he doesn't need a national team to develop players and can get him players sold regardless. You see me? Whisper will be joining Chelsea first team, surely. I predict it here first. All right, fair enough. Rob Smith, unpopular opinion. Antonio having scored a goal for Jamaica in two years, and I get a big pass. Rob Smith, yeah, let me get that. Like, games, all right, go on, go on, Dick, and you, and let me take that comment. Point, um, but you have to look at that point in retrospect. He hasn't played a whole lot of games in that two years span. Um, he's been out a lot of time for either injury or West Ham no one sending or some weird reason. So... Yeah, it's, it, it, you have to take that um, fuck with a pinch of salt. Yeah. And and to be honest, Mikel Antonio, in terms of how he plays, he's deployed different in terms of being that player who plays as a um, more of a striker who holds up the play to bring other players into the game. So I don't really expect a lot of goals from Mikel Antonio. Personally, if I was setting up a team, I need a striker who scores goals. I don't care how good I can hold up the ball. I do business about that. I just want to say I can't put the ball in the back of the net. You see me? Um, Joshi. Mr. United, move up. How you love him, so Yo, Josh, I give him a range. Nobody did, man. Oh, he in black. Let's is a centre-back. He has a massive vertical leap. 
He reads the game well. Reminds me of Tati Brown in 98 campaign. Forgive me, I don't... Well, I know who Tati Brown is, but obviously, I'm just born with this, so I can't tell about Tati Brown. Monster, if Coventry makes the FA Cup final, the channel has to do a watch-along. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll do a, we'll do a watch-along for that. But I don't want to make it final, because United will support. Joshi, no range for Mr. United. All right. Um, oh, be Mr. United, aka Renji. Yo, left Mr. United alone. Okay, we'll check in. All right, big up yourself, but make sure you subscribe. People also turn your post notification on every week. We're gonna try. Bunny Shaw is Bunny Shaw fan for life scoring goal for our fun. Yeah, man. Um, City all time goal scorer for the women's team. Ross Smith, Sterling forward. We don't need cover until him start get first team game. All right, fair enough. I think, um, what's this player's name again? Bujan Sterling plays for Rangers. He's playing week in, week out. Um, Mr. United, just, just like you love Bailey and Butler. Oh, so he's a um, Craig Butler, Bootlicker, or Pillarman, as them refer to people on YouTube when they yeah, support them. Them to the back and forth, them to the back and forth together, and I come in. So make we touch the other one. All right, all right. Ross, all right, all right. People, we're going to end it here. We're going to end it here. We're going to never join the stream and give no opinion. But listen, people. Oh, so much comments in a Jesus space. Zero, zero. Kevin Fulfi, Manu, they didn't know. All right, they make we see no. Um, Nitro, big up here, big up Nitro, big up yourself, one so, Um, I for Martin, represent your country, don't embarrass us on the world stage. I think he's referring to Bonnie Shaw, Rob Smith, him and him and nine. I can't remember last time he had a shot and goal. And to be fair enough, in Rob Smith, as I said, if I set up a team, I need a striker who scores goals. Me no business how you want to hold up the ball, me no business about that. Just put the ball in the back of the net, you see me? Because at the end of the day, the team needs goals. But people, once again. Big up on yourself. We're going to end it here. Our first official Reggae Boys Weekly um, presented to you by 433 Presser and the Kanyo Gunners. So check out the Kanyo's channel. And just before we end, the topics that we did cover today would have been um, Leon Bailey and his club career so far. Also, should he get back into the national team? Michael Antonio transfer um, saga. He's been linked with a move away from... Um, West Ham United also RR brought up something. Should Bujan Richards or Kahim Dixon out of the two, who should get the developmental spot? We spoke about that. Ellis Teams update tomorrow. So look out for the special live stream where the Kanye and I will talk to us. Coventry Super Fan. Also, we talked about the 876 stream at the start of um this stream, right? So all in all, people, all in all, it was a good show. You know, thanks for supporting us. Make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe. I'm imploring you guys to subscribe to the channel without um, Michael Antonio, Ellie Sims, Dujan. Make sure to subscribe, like, share your thoughts. Before me end it, let me take some more comments. Right? Um, make sure the man them now war Nitro, Delano, Splat, Killer Sound today. Oh, who name so? Good job, young king. Zeman wind up, so big up on yourself and big up to Mr. United. People, we're out. Mad.